First, the SMS officers. Regardless of who are in the position right now, I thank you as being part of my team. Together, we make decisions that will keep our department alive. Through all the preparations for successful events, you worked hand in hand with me, working on the smallest details, contributing beautiful ideas, and made me realize that you will go a long way, given the right care to your potentials. Stay strong with me, because the struggle is real. And to my other team, the music faculty, your tremendous support is my strength. You have kept me on my toes, always encouraging me to hold on when I felt like giving up. You contributed a lot in preparing for accreditation. Your love and cooperation is truly appreciated. And I believe as we continue to work together, no matter how few we are in number, your ideas and contributions to the development and improvement of our small community is beneficial and encouraging. You will be the ones who will continue to keep the light burning and keep the legacy as proud alumni of this university. And to my reliable team, the work scholars, you don't know how much you have contributed to the success of all our activities. You are my backbone, my emotional strength, my critics, my small board of trustees. You saw all the tears, my witnesses, my disappointments, but you never gave up on me. True to your promise, when I was at that point, whether to accept the chairmanship or not, you told me, hindi ka namin iiwan ma'am. That was one of the strong reasons why I accepted the challenge to be the chair. One of you left. <laughs> uh, sorry. One of you left and was replaced with new ones. Two have left temporarily and have returned. One had a few attempts to leave, but faithfully remained. My dear work scholars, we have developed that kind of friendship. And for that, I will be forever grateful. I also personally thank my family, Sir Don and the two sons. who not only provide my emotional needs, but often support me with their presence whenever possible. They are my sweetest inspiration. It is primarily for them why I wake up every morning to report to work, especially on days where I have to literally drag myself out of bed to prepare for the day's task as a wife, mother, and as the department chair. They always remind me to be myself, stand for what I believe is right, and most of all, to be humble, transparent, considerate, practicing empathy at all times. So goes the famous commercial, commercial line. Para ka ni mo kami mo ba? Okay, kada ni last week. Tapos na ito worry. And lastly, my heartfelt gratitude to our college team, Dr. Flor Bertisha. You have been very supportive in all our departments and members. You stood out for us and gave us encouraging words. You accepted our flaws and praised on our accomplishments. You were there on important events like tonight. And you never stopped believing in, in what we can do. Thank you for being a good example of a true leader. You are not just an educator. You are also a mother to us. You are soon to retire. But I believe we will always be a good part of your memory. So in gratitude for all this, please accept our simple token of appreciation. To have a to have a remember that once in your deanship, the music department was under your care and supervision. And that we appreciated all the love and attention 